So your question was when adjusting the front derailleur, the chain's hitting this outside cage or the bottom? The bottom. Okay, so chain's hitting right there. Uh -huh. On most suspension bikes, full suspension bikes, you're gonna, probably gonna run into this problem. Uh, right now we are in gear number one, which is chains far to the left. We're not worried about hitting the inside of the cage here or the outside of the cage here. Of course, that would depend where your chain is in the back over here. If we're in the front left, number one over here, and in the middle or to the right in the rear, chain will be cross-chaining. We most likely will be hitting uh, the inside of the cage, probably this side over here. But this is different. We're hitting the bottom right here chain's hitting right there so this is going to change so once you sit on the bike your whole chain line is going to change this rear of the triangle of the full suspension bike as soon as you sit down it's going to go up which means this chain is going to rise up and sit just above where we're hitting on that derailleur cage so that's going to correct itself as soon as you get the weight on there the best way to make the adjustment for this is to probably have somebody who's similar weight of the owner of the bike or heavier. So if, if the heavier guy sits on it, this is going to rise up high. Oh, yeah. Someone who's a lighter weight rider, this is going to sit down lower. That could still be rubbing here. No matter what weight, it's going to go up and it shouldn't be getting any rub right there. So uh, it's going to be rubbing in the, in the repair stand. Yes, we're, we're cross chaining. So let's go ahead and move into the middle chain ring. We'll stay where we're at here. We're almost in the middle where this is a, how many speeds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a 10 speed. We're in gear one, two, three, four, five, six. We're in gear seven on a 10 speed cassette. We're in gear number one in the front and the left, so we are doing a little bit of cross chaining, but again, we're not worried about that. It's more of a sag issue. So when we go into gear number two, like this is a triple. Uh, this is an older bike. Most people are gonna have a double, or maybe even a single, so which is gonna move the chain line maybe a little more over to the right, maybe get a straighter chain line possibly. So let's go into the middle ring, which is gonna bump the chain up higher, which should raise this chain up higher off of that derailleur cage. Go ahead and shift to gear two. All right, so now we're in gear two. We still are in gear seven in the rear. Right off the bat, we have now we have a big gap right here. So just from going into the middle chain ring, we have a huge gap right here, probably more than a half inch. 